What's up, YouTube? Back with another one. This one right here is for those plugins you got tucked away in your box, man, that you, you can't use because you got to ride them into another plugin to actually give them sound and, you know what I'm saying, uh, a factory where you got to, you know what I'm saying, you want to use more than one bank, but you can't use it because the, the MIDI notes on your keyboard won't switch. Well, I got a solution for all of that. And that solution is is patchwork open up patchwork look like this right here so i'm gonna make this short and sweet so pay attention come on move a little fast all right now first thing we're gonna do we're gonna bring up cthulhu right now so you got cthulhu over here chilling and we're gonna put some sex on it we're gonna put some uh Put some keyscape on it. So now that you got that, we'll put it in classical. Turn it down, turn it down. Back out. So now we got to do some routing. So we're going to leave this in host. And we're going to use port A for the out. For the end, we're going to put it on port A, channel 1. And you should get this. <laughs> So before we had this, now we have this. Alright. So now if you notice we got four pre's, we got four posts, and we got a parallel change, and we got eight of those. So if you want more, just hit that. You want more, hit that. So all of these you can put VSTs and uh effects plugins on so you can have like big crazy patches and anything that you make you can save so like when when you put all your vsc's in here and these and you you get the uh desired tweaks and everything that you want you can save that whole thing as a patch so when you go back in it'll be in a vsc presets thing and you just pull it up and all your vsts will come right back just like you had them exactly tweak the way you you like them and everything so that's something to keep in mind it also does animation and all of that and i'll show you how to set that up and everything uh let me show you fetrix so you can set stuff up like that if you want to um i mean uh, shit, possibilities are endless man um uh let's see what else can we do uh go ahead and take that out say you want to run something like uh Operator, put that on here. Close that up. I'm gonna just put some notes in here so we can, we can have a placeholder. So when we hit play, the play, and I ain't gotta hit the keys. We just want to automate the dry wet. So we get something like this. Alright, so what we're going to do is 
So what I did was I right clicked on this portion right here and this came up and I just went down a uh, program map. I went to start stop and I went to uh, mix controls because we just want to control the mix knob. So when we did that, we came over here, pressed this right here and this is where all your mapped automation um, uh, knobs will appear once you automate anything in any one of the plugins it's going to show up here so you have this actual physical knob so we can either you know go ahead and automate it with this knob right here but i know most people are going to want to have the physical knob to actually do what they do so what you want to do is i'm going to put it in projects and i hit this learn button i make sure i got this knob right here right Yes. got that right so now you gotta do is leave it and learn move this knob we good to go so now we have that knob not the looperator so we can now control so now you gotta do is hit the right button over the play So now you know you have the ability to automate. Um, you have the ability to control uh, plugins like uh, Fetrix. You have the ability to control uh, Cthulhu the sound. You know, it not having a sound, you have the ability to route it to another plugin to actually give it sound. So those. Uh, plugins like that you can you can actually use them now instead of just having them you know in the cut night being able to use them uh, and you still got all these effects and uh, VSTs that you can still add in here and make uh, whatever you want to make you can make uh, if you're in the sound design you can make crazy patches with delays and have time effects and whatever you want on it and create some unique sounds uh, I mean like I said man I'm barely scratching the surface I'm still getting new to this but I learned all of this you know trying to help you guys know what you need to help you help your sound get better so um, I'm gonna keep playing with this I feel like it's worth it it's like a hundred bucks uh, but an alternative to this is uh, uh, image line makes one called mini host Mo module or something like that or i think it's called uh patcher now or pitcher patcher something like that um it's a free plugin if you look around on the web you can find it for free free download and it's kind of like a rewire plugin where you go in and you just rewire it and everything like that if you want me to make a video on that if you're interested in it you know, leave a comment down there and say, hey, man, make a video on it, and I make one. But this one right here is 100 bucks, and the other one is free. So I might leave a, a, I might leave it, you know, where you can find the downloads for it in the comments, in the description. Um, but for right now, that's, that's all I got for you, man. Till next time, man, gone.